Hello and welcome to Tarot Bites. I'm Teresa Reed, the Tarot Lady. I'm the author of Tarot No Questions Asked, Mastering the Art of Intuitive Reading. I'm also your host for this podcast series. This is episode 210 of Tarot Bites, the podcast where I just shout short, entertaining, bite-sized lessons on how to read tarot. And for today's episode, our topic is, When Should I Go Pro? All right, well, this is a question I get asked all the time, and I want to share my thoughts with you. First of all, you need to ask yourself why you want to go pro. Is it because you have a deep love of tarot and you want to serve people? Do people tell you that you're great and they want to pay you for your services? Or do you assume it's a quick and easy way to make money? You want to examine your motives carefully. The reason why I say this is because too often people get into tarot and want to make the leap from hobbyist to professional without taking the time to ponder their why. While there's nothing wrong with wanting to turn your passion for tarot into a career if you feel called to, there's also no reason to monetize a hobby. And for some people, this is truly a life calling. But for many others, it's a fun thing that may not morph into a livelihood. I also recommend having a solid tarot education and real-life experience reading the cards for people first. Now, this isn't something that happens overnight. It takes time. I mean, you can learn about tarot through classes, books, and working with a mentor. And I highly recommend all three if possible. But it's also vital that you read for a lot of people about various life situations. This experience is valuable because it prepares you for dealing with the public and the issues they bring to your table. You can't do that with just a few months of tarot practice. Next, I advise people to take some business courses as well as classes in people skills or counseling. And here's why. You can't run a legit biz if you don't know how to handle the basics such as paying taxes and filing your paperwork. And if you cannot communicate effectively with people, well, you can quickly get into trouble. Basic business and people skills are essential for a thriving tarot business. Now, some people assume they can take this six-week certification course and be ready to read for the public. And by the way, those certifications, they mean nothing. The public is not going to ask to see your, uh, your certification. And frankly, I think taking just a six-week course And assuming that you're ready is setting you up for a lot of trouble. You need more time than just six weeks. You need more education than just one and done. Reading tarot professionally requires a serious commitment to learning the craft. And again, you can't get that in a six-week certification course. If you want to take a course, by all means, but we still need to keep learning and practicing. You know, in fact, I recommend continuous education long after you open the doors for business. Business is constantly changing, tarot has trends, and there is so much to learn. There's so many people with knowledge and wisdom and new people emerging with lots of things to share. And I've been at my work for 40 years, but I still take classes and read all the books because I know it makes me a better more well-rounded reader. Now, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, if you give yourself two to five years to learn and practice, you'll be confident in your skills. And you'll have a clear idea of your reading style and how you interact with the public. Now, Mary Kay Greer wrote a fantastic piece about going pro. She recommended a rite of passage where you volunteer for a full day or, better yet, a weekend at a charity or benefit event, and donate everything to the cause. She continues to say the point is to read nonstop, except for necessary breaks, even to the point of exhaustion. Drink plenty of water. There's a point beyond which a part of you doesn't care what you say anymore and you totally let go. You'll be surprised at what happens then and how accurate you become when you finally bypass your critic. I'm going to put a link to this article in the show notes, 
And I highly recommend that you read it because I love this advice. And I think it's wise because it tests your metal as a reader and it does help you determine if you're really ready to go pro. Now, I also want to say it's different for everybody. I read tarot for 10 years before I went pro, and I never assumed this would be my vocation. But circumstances nudged me in this direction, and I've had a thriving career for about 30 years as of this recording. I was probably ready to go pro much sooner, but it actually never crossed my mind. Now, for some people, they'll be ready to commit to this work sooner than others. You have to determine when you feel confident. And oftentimes, your people will let you know. If you're getting consistently good feedback, do not need to rely on the books any longer. And people insist on paying you. You know you're on to something. Now, one other thing that I would like to add. This is not a full-time profession for many folks. A lot of people have this as a side hustle. And you might want to make this your main gig or not. If you decide this is the career for you, make sure you also have the stomach for an unpredictable income. Self-employment can be stressful if you're relying on a stable source of revenue or you're the main breadwinner in the family. Running a business is a lot of cost you may not consider when you start. Expenses such as office space, computers, web hosting, taxes, and health insurance. Make sure you plan for that. And better yet, Give yourself time to set yourself up with everything you need before taking the leap. Now, over the years, I've met many well-intentioned people who wanted to go pro before they were ready. And some of them learned the hard way that this is a serious career that comes with a lot of responsibility. A few did damage to people who wanted a professional service and got an amateur service with unhelpful, unethical, or harmful advice. Remember, people are coming to you for guidance. They may take what you say seriously. And if you're not experienced, you could do harm. This is why you need time to hone your craft and learn how to run your business properly. There are no shortcuts to this work. If someone tells you that there is, they are setting you up for problems. Ultimately, you're going to have to decide what makes sense for you. But if you take my advice, and better yet, Mary Greer's advice, you'll have a good idea of whether you are ready or not. All right, that wraps up this episode of Tarot Bites. And you can check out lots more tarot goodness on my website, thetarolady.com. I've got free tarot and astrology lessons, plenty of books, hundreds of blog posts, astrological forecasts, and lots of other goodies for you to scope out and enjoy. I want to thank you again for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day. And by the way, if you're digging the podcast, do me a favor. Get on over to iTunes and leave a kind review. That will help more tarot-curious people find their way to Tarot Bites. And as always, I like to close out by saying, pay close attention to your intuition throughout your day and let it guide you into making brave, excellent choices. Remember, you are always in the driver's seat of your life. You are in charge of your decisions, your plans, the action steps that you take or don't take. You're the boss. And if you don't like where your life is headed right now, you can change that. Nothing is ever fixed in stone. The tarot cards tell a story, but you write the ending.